Hello, Makla Ward. So we just wanted to um, give you all a little reminder about our visit calendar. Hopefully you all got it. Um, Sister Thielke sent it out to the ward. And it's for us to be visiting you in your homes, or if you're more comfortable with doing a video call, we can do that as well. Uh, but we'd love to visit with you um, from 7 to 9 in the, in the evening. So that would be... Um, you know, one, one home at, at 7 o'clock and then someone at 8 o'clock as well. And so that's our time to visit members is during the evenings. And uh, throughout the week, uh, we can only do visits where we share a message. Um, but Saturdays and Sundays, we're able to have dinners with you. Um, unless during the week, if there is someone who's not a member of the church or someone who is, you know, less active in the church than we are, uh, we are able to have dinner on, on days of the week. Um, but yeah, that's just a, a little reminder for you all and we would all love to get to know you all better and we'd love to um, share messages with you and also just serve you and help you in, in any way that we, we can. That's what we're here for. And yeah. And we also want to remind you that we have our car wash every Saturday um, at the Sig Center from 3 to 7. Um, but today we just wanted to talk a little bit about the Holy Ghost and how um, we've each been able to see um, the Holy Ghost's role in our lives. So um, I'll start with an experience that I have. And actually Sister Fiume and I had this happen a couple weeks ago. But it was, um, it was when that one incident happened um, and it was over, what is it, how are we learning? How are we learning? there um so we were over in that area um a couple weeks ago and um usually we pray in our car and then we we get out and we go and visit the people in the neighborhood that we were in and on this particular day we prayed and then um we didn't feel right about it and so which has not happened um before usually we're fine and we just get out and go visit um the people but um, on that day, we felt like maybe we should go somewhere else and go visit um, somewhere else in our areas. And so we didn't really question it, and we kind of just left. And then later that night, we got a call from our zone, um, our zone leader telling us that there had been a stabbing over there. And we were in that area earlier that day. And so, I mean, who knows how long we would have been there if we had ended up staying or if we were... You know, um, we could have been in the wrong place at the wrong time, but we listened to the Holy Ghost and we were able to um, see the blessings that came from that. Yeah, um, and one of my experiences with listening to the Holy Ghost actually occurred my senior year of high school. Um, it was a couple months before graduation and my parents told all of us kids that we were going to move to Texas. And because we've run up in Las Vegas for majority of our lives, um, it was hard to hear that. And we decided to pray as a family to know if moving to Texas was the right decision. And we didn't get any confirmation right away, but we still decided to move. And when we moved um, to Texas, it was the spark of the pandemic. And um, my dad actually received a job right before the pandemic happened. And his coworkers in Las Vegas were actually out of jobs and unemployed. But my dad was able to support his family and continue to go to work because we had made that move. Yeah. <laughs> and... There are, you know, many, many ways that the Holy Ghost helps us in our lives. And, you know, as the sisters have shared, um, the Holy Ghost can comfort us in times of need and also, you know, warn us of danger and, and protect us. And I had also an experience with the Holy Ghost, or I guess this was an experience about my mom. Um, so I was in the car with her and she was driving us somewhere. And as we were dri driving down the road, we passed this park. And my mom noticed that there was this lady sitting on the grass of the park and I didn't even notice her and it, it was strange that she noticed her but uh, my mom just said, oh, I think that lady needs help. 
And I looked at the lady and I was like, what do you mean? Like, she, I don't know, she looks fine. She's just sitting there. My mom felt like something was really wrong and she just couldn't get rid of this feeling inside of her. And so she went to make a U-turn and she turned around and she, we passed the lady again. And she's just like, I feel like she needs help. And so we went into the park and, and parked there and we, and my mom got out and went and spoke to the lady. And it turned out that the lady was walking home from work and she stopped to take a break at the park because she was feeling really, really sick. And she'd already walked so many miles and she had many miles to go before she got home. And so my mom was able to give her a ride the rest of the way home. And it was, it was a really, really big deal to her because she was having a super rough day that day. And it was just, that experience was a really big testimony builder to me that the Holy Ghost really is real. And he does speak to us in quiet ways, but if we're willing to listen, then we're able to be guided to places and to people who are needing us. We're able to be where, you know, where we're supposed to be in the right times. And it reminds me of this, this scripture, and it's in 1 Nephi chapter 10, verse 19. And it says, For he that diligently seeketh shall find, and the mysteries of God shall be unfolded unto them by the power of the Holy Ghost, as well in these times as in times of old, and as well in times of old as in times to come. Wherefore, the course of the Lord is one eternal round. And I love that scripture, and I know it to be true. And just like the prophets in, in the Book of Mormon, in the Bible, and in the old times, the spirit that was with them, you know, with Nephi, with Alma, with Moses, with all of them, the same spirit that was with them, helping them to do the work, is, is also with us. And even the same spirit that was with Jesus Christ himself when he was on the earth. And so we have that gift of the Holy Ghost today, and it really is a gift, and it helps us in so many aspects of our lives. And I definitely have a testimony that if we do our best to heed to that still small voice, that, um, you know, the Lord will be able to do wonderful things through us, and that we'll be able to see a lot of miracles in our lives. And I'll just add my testimony um, that I've also had many experiences with the Holy Ghost where I've just been able to gain that undeniable testimony of um, its realness and and I think um, I don't know if I would be where I am today if I didn't um, get that gift of the Holy Ghost and its constant companionship when I was baptized at eight years old so I'm really grateful for that and I think it shows just how loving our Heavenly Father is that he you know we get baptized and with it we gain this gift and it really is a gift and having that constant companionship has helped me um, in many different instances in my life and so I know that um, we do have to be worthy of, of um, listening to those promptings and even getting those promptings at all from the Holy Ghost. Yeah and we just like to invite you guys to um, write down any um, experiences you guys can think of about a time where the Holy Ghost has helped you. So um, when you're feeling down or just sad in general, you can go back and read about those miracles you have seen in your life. And we like to say these things in the name of thy son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. We love you, Mako Lord. We love you all.